Joe is manning the ones and twos on Facebook. And, I, I want to give you. I want to. I'm going to. Speaking of Husey, okay. Right. <clears throat> you know he sends me messages, right? And he always <laughs> has to like joke in the messages, and he thinks right. he's funny, right? Mm-hmm. You read you one of his messages. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> K100 passed 37 million views on YouTube. Also, when we jump Conan during his Hall of Fame speech, do you want to hit him with the Dudley death drop or a double power bomb? <laughs> and Joe laughs. <laughs> Joe, Joe, you laughed. At you. Well, why are you laughing at that? I, I, I hear that's in not, I, I hear mean, in that's, that's, that's delivery. Atrocious. His delivery he's not, he's is how he's unfunny. funny, you know. Atrociously unfunny. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have like a like a lick of humor in him. Do you oh. remember when Johnny Carson would say terrible jokes and Ed McMahon would always put it over? Uh, uh, right. Yes. That's, yeah, what that's what this guy do, reminds me of. That's probably why he's on Raven because Raven, I'm, whatever he right. says, he just laughs. I guess. Yeah. I want to talk <laughs> about a couple things before we get into the mail. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw there's th- a couple things are trending today. I'm, I'm as I'm jumping on Twitter. Right. Uh, number one, it looks like Aaron Rodgers is probably going to be going to the Jets for sure because right. I guess he gave Where a list else of free agents. Well, they gave a list of free agents that he wants them to sign, and they already signed Alan Lazard, right. like his old receiver from you know. Okay, so they right. got him, but you know, that so, kind of tells you what the, what's right. going right. right. Exactly. So right. it looks like he's going there. Okay. Right. Uh, number two, uh, Nash is trending today. Because right. I guess. Um, him and Steve Austin had may, had a pact. Okay, like his, I guess he said this on his podcast that they have a pact not to watch AEW. And really? of course, and all the AEW fans all mad today. Oh wow! <laughs> all right, I didn't see that. Um, and number three, Cornette is trending. I I guess because people are saying, Joe, have you been following this? Uh, no, getting rid of her. her Oh, oh! Is this the thing where Cornette said something about how some people just shouldn't be in a position of uh, fame be famous, or whatever? Like, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and like I guess I guess they were. Let me read this comment. Okay, this is Brian Last on Reho. I guess this is what whatever he's like. Uh, um, uh, Brian Last on Reho. Uh, quote: What's her What's her home life like? For anyone who wants to jump to assumptions, is Reho allowed to leave the house when she's in America? Is Reho allowed to just talk to anyone backstage without Kenny's permission? Uh, then it said Brian ended it by saying, "Let's examine everything about why Riho may have gotten off Twitter before accusing anyone. And at what point could Kenny Omega sue Jim Cornette and Brian Last for these things? These are absurd claims disguised vaguely as questions." At one eighteen, the latest podcast, of course. The, yeah, the AEW fans are all triggered today because of Nash and Cornette, and they're they're all mad. Uh, but I don't understand they're, they're what's waiting. going on. Well, Riho left Twitter, and I guess you know, like Cornette was basically saying. Um, Joe, try to find this. I'm trying to find it right now. Yeah, I don't know the story. Uh, bro, they get, bro, remember when I did the joke about Takshita? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Takeshita. Takeshita, my bad. Takeshita, and they went after me for three days, right? Because that's what they are, bro. They're just easily they, triggered, over-the-top they... fake outrage, and they're just waiting to pounce on anybody. Right. They, they thought that you were serious, right. and then you were backtracking. Right, and that was the worst part. They were sure they were sure it wasn't a joke, right. and then they were sure that I was backtracking. It was like apologize and take the L. I'm not apologizing for for saying a joke, dude. Right. Yeah. Here's a All clip. Right. Uh, someone posted Jim Cornette, Brian Lance. I'm assuming this has to do with it. Like this is short okay, notice, but let's see. Let's hear it. Reality show Hanukkah Kimura. That's what it was. Yes, and and then they have reality TV shows where they put these either the pop idols or the whatever on the and. She did some innocuous thing to anybody in the American culture or whatever, but it was something that they thought badly of over there and harassed her about it. The fans, this reality show on Twitter, and she committed suicide, which is horrible. And that's again, that's why I maintain that some people do not, should not be public figures. And it doesn't just, it does if, if, if Riho's a 25-year-old adult making six figures, literally working part-time for AEW plus whatever the f*** else, um, and she has to get off Twitter, it's not like giving up food or, or, or goddamn or, you know, dialysis. Okie doke. That's, that's, that's his response, or that's what people are like, mad oh, at. Mad at I mean, it's just like What's it wrong thing. with that? I guess – uh Cornette and Lance must be critical but the part, of her. But no, no. Where's the, the part that's getting heat is, is 
does Kenny let her go out or whatever? That's from Brian Lash. Yeah, that's what Disco was reading, but I couldn't yeah, find that audio. Yeah. I mean, All right. You know. Well, I don't but disagree I, I, with I, I, anything he said. This. We've said it a million times, bro. If you're going to be a public figure, you better have thick skin because you're going to get criticized by losers, yeah. by trolls, by people that just don't like you, people that disagree with you. And just, you know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, you know, yeah. and yeah. I mean, you don't have to go on social media. Right. That's that's a that's a choice that, that people are making to engage in themselves. And if she doesn't want, I mean, uh, honestly, you know, her getting off social media is 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 probably a good thing for her. One thousand percent, good thing for a lot of people. Nothing yeah. wrong with getting off social media, and I right. think that's what I almost think that's what they're saying. Right. Like there's nothing she should she should be off social media. I think that's it's, what it's they're worse, saying. And then if you're afraid to go on social media complaint. of right. what they might say about you, then right. you shouldn't be on there because right. people are gonna. F- with you, yeah, you so nothing you're wrong not going to be universally universally liked ever right nobody so yeah. deal with it all right let's start with the mail and um, let me just say before we get to the ahead. mail i'm glad we got jimmy g all right 